But I just come out and take a walk in the garden a little earlier than planned because uh, there's a thunderstorm warning. So let's go and take a look at the tomatoes. The tomatoes are doing really well. Um, all our tomatoes are grown from seed. The plants are looking really good and they are just covered in tomatoes. I think we're going to be doing a lot of canning this season. They're just looking really good. Some real big ones. This one's really big. And so far I haven't had any problems with um, hornworms. Trust me, I've been coming out almost every night to check on the plants just to make sure and um, we haven't had too many problems with spider mites either the plants are, are, are looking good so we've got one little one right there I'm going to take that off but in general they're pretty good I feel the winds picking up a little bit that thunderstorm might be coming in sooner than I thought. But overall the plants are looking really good. I came out and uh, removed some sucker leaves this morning. And um, just did some pruning of some lower leaves. Um, we don't want any of the, the lower lower leaves to be touching the ground so I came out and did a little bit of pruning this morning. Let's go take a look before that storm comes in. Woo! That sky is getting a little dark. It's been such a beautiful day today too. But of course we welcome the rain as long as it's not damaging. So the peppers are doing good. They're coming along really well and uh, we're still using the DE and Epsom salts and bear traps because of the slugs. We're still getting a few getting chomped on. But we do have peppers growing on quite a few of the plants. So we're really happy about that. Got some right in there. I just love peppers. We've got the green peppers, yellow, orange. And red pepper is going to be growing. So they're looking good. And we've got lots of new flowers. So I'm actually really happy with these guys. Even though we have had such a, such a uh, challenge with them. Uh, with the slugs. But we seem to be able to keep that under control. And one thing you'll notice on these really hot days. Is a lot of the plants will hunker down. And their um, leaves will drop and they'll look droopy and you'll be thinking oh my goodness something's wrong with my plants but it's okay they're just hunkering down with for the heat uh, just to protect themselves um, they're not dying they're just hunkering down and they always perk back up uh, in the late evening cucumbers are amazing this season we have got so many flowers and the sugar bucket is working really well to bring the bees. We have to come out here each day and just train the plants on the trellis. They're looking really good. And we've got cucumbers growing. It's a nice one right there. It's more... We've got quite a few cucumbers growing. That makes me happy. Tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers equals cucumber salad. Yum! My husband is the chef in the family. He does all the cooking. And he makes one kill a cucumber salad. There's a few others here that we need to train up just put them around here 
Do some training. I'm growing really well up these trellises. And of course this is our um, succession planting where we have the four stages of growth. And they are coming along really well. This is our last half row and they're growing good too. We don't seem to have uh, too many problems with anything chomping on these. Just a few here and there, but you can use the DE and the Epsom salts on the cucumbers as well. So we want to see photos and videos of your garden. So go out there and take a video and post it on our page. We'd love to see them. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye.